Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the biggest afro crit status. And welcome to another video on the channel. Oh my gosh, it's been far too long. In today's video, we have none other than Coffee Talk. And I've been looking forward to this game since I found it in the Xbox Play Store. Um, it reminds me of another game that one of my best friends, Jake, or rather Fly Kinda Guy, streamed on Twitch for a little bit of time, or got me into on top of that, called Valhalla. A kind of life simulator where basically you're digging into people's lives, helping them go through different problems, and all around just being a wonderful friend while also serving drinks. And this is the console version of it. Coffee Talk. Now I've been really, I'm really, really excited to get into this game. Like, I haven't, I don't know too much about this. I got it over the weekend, thanks to my buddy Gold. Thank you again for helping support this and support the channel. And I've been wanting to play this since I got it installed. And now it's finally in my hands and I can finally get it going, especially on today, cause I couldn't record over the weekend. So yeah, I'm super, super excited about this one. Now, forgive me that there is no camera right now. I am working on getting a few upgrades. So a face cam is going to be out of the question until I can get things kickstarted, at least for this series. But I will do my best to make sure that my voice is more than enough for you. Now then, with that being said, let us begin. New profile. What is my name? Barista? Nah, we're not going to go with that. Crit. Oh my gosh, there's an endless mode? What the heck? Why is there an endless mode? What would you do there? Literally off the jump, we got an achievement. Seattle, 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place in time where anything can happen. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups, when the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires, when the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives, and when humans live amongst them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks, wood, and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Hopefully quarantine is going well for these folks, because for our 2020, it freaking sucks right now. Already getting wonderful vibes. Of oh, hi. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Welcome. Oh, it's you. Hey, Crit. How's the night so far? It's calm, as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistics errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Yo, I vibe with this chick already. 
Like I've already, I'm already getting vibes. I know I'm supposed to be narrating, but I'm getting vibes off of this chick right now. <laughs> Don't worry, I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. <laughs> That's good to hear. Anyways, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. <laughs> Don't worry. Take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So, I'm used to taking things slow. Hey, writer's block again? You got that right. <laughs> what are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Oh. Ah. Pardon the interruption. The machine's ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyways, I really need that triple shot espresso. Okay, um, we're in this. Lovely. Uh, coffee, green tea, chocolate, milk. Uh, oh god, I have no clue how the freak to make any of this stuff. Um, I'm not a good barista, but you know what? We're about to, we're about to freaking, about to find out. So it was coffee, coffee, and then coffee. Or it's a triple shot espresso, sorry. And serve it. One cup of triple shot espresso. <laughs> I love this game so far. Already getting achievements. Special for my only customer tonight. Hmm, that aroma. <laughs> exactly what I needed. Anyways, where were we? You plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yeah. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they're also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presents itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally I pitched my book idea. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories, so he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get that fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. Dude, that sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time for do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on a novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. <laughs> Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well, it was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. <sighs> so, zero. <sighs> yes, I really need to finish it in, at most, two weeks. And then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know, you don't need to be so clinical or cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place would be of service. Oh, 
It looks like someone's coming. Welcome. Hi there. It... Okay, so... Am I dealing with an elf? Am I dealing with an orc? Like, who is this? Look, even even Freya looks like freaking terrified right now. I was like, who the heck is that? Hello. Good evening. Um, for here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for the weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. Okay, uh, I have cocoa powder. So, look at my brew pad. Cappuccino, espresso, nope. Green tea, dark chocolate. Okay, bet. It's just straight chocolate. Alright, got it. Bam, bam, bam. Brew. Dark chocolate. Here you are. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. A little phrase is just over here looking at her like, yo, what the freak is up with this woman? <laughs> I'm so warm. So, you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that still opens after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight, it's mostly empty. <laughs> now that you mention it, it is good for business, having the coffee shop only open at night. Definitely not. <laughs> yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone looping for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? That is a secret. Crit here is damn rich. That's the secret. <laughs> oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Crit can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going to be bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. There's not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whisper. Shut up! <laughs> I love this music so far, by the way. Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? <laughs> Thank you! I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Uh-oh, we got another customer. Whoa! That's an elf boy. Definitely that's an elf boy. <clears throat> Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi. Would you like to order something? Hmm. Why are you giving me that look? What? What is this look? <laughs> like, can we talk about this man's face? What is this look? Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top, please. Oh god, okay, uh, something bitter to keep me awake with milk. What, what do I have here to be able to do that? That's not bitter. Nope. Cappuccino. I feel like a cappuccino would be 
the right thing. It says something bitter with milk, so a cappuccino has definitely got it. Because it's double coffee, so that bitter taste is definitely there, I think. So let's find out. Let's mix it. Uh, so two coffees. Yep, something bitter with milk. That's not. Wait, reset. No. Coffee, coffee, milk. There we go. Something bitter with milk. So I think this is the right one that he's wanting. A cappuccino and then latte art. Ooh, I get to be fancy. I get to be fancy with it. Okay. Oh, oh, this is it's one of these. Okay. Uh So I have the milk etch invert. Oh god. Okay. Uh can I reset it at any time? Okay, so I can reset it at any time. Okay. So here's what I'll do. So let's start here. Oh, look at me go! Look at me go! Okay, I got this, I got this. Okay, and then we etch. Can I throw, can I throw like a dot here in there? Or is that not how that, oh, it etches in it. Okay, so I'm not done yet. So dot of milk, okay, whoa, that dot of milk is way too, no, it reset the whole thing. Oh, dang it, okay. So we start from here. Bam, go to the side, over here, bloop, 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 Nice, lovely flower. Okay, so, uh, oh, I can rotate the cup too. Okay, I didn't realize that. Okay, and then we etch. Oh, this just, okay, lit. So if I wanted to, if I wanted to etch, what would I do here? Ah. I can't actually like draw like tiny little dots here and there. At least I don't know how to do it yet. But for now, we're gonna go with this. This is very proud. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess with it. Yes, I got another achievement. It's a masterpiece. Oh my god, it's social media worthy. I love these achievements. This actually makes me feel good. Oh, <laughs> here's your order. <laughs> is this what you call latte art? Okay, look here, bro. I'm trying my best. <laughs> That's cute. Perfect. Anyways, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, but by by bait Baileys? Bail eyes. Baileys. Baileys. I'm gonna assume this Baileys until somebody proves me otherwise. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah? I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Whoa, did I just move the camera? Ah, that's sick. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Crit. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some car- Frick, I hate big words. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry I'm so bad right now. Caricature. What? I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep. He's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? <laughs> no, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visual department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customer this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fist. Not as good as your coffee making skills, though. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyways, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So, I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. 
Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Off she goes. Bye, Freya. And now for these two. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here's good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the coffee. Out of the coffee? Out of the office? Oh my god, I can speak. <laughs> Plus, my boss was in a really good mood today. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today, well, he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest clients? Yes, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. <laughs> and lose my current project for a minute of laughter. <laughs> that might be worth it. You should ask Crit here how to deal with the annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? Why are you looking at me like that, sir? Can you not? There's a thing called personal space. <laughs> the ones you don't need your fist to take care of. <laughs> I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. <laughs> now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Your parents? Yes. So, you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. Okay, I, I'm sensing a lot of tension here and I don't like it. They won't give us a chance at all. Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? <laughs> More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Freon's place for now. Or Farin? Farin's. Farin. Farin? Farin. Frick. I hate... Oh, why can't I pronounce words? <laughs> they kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they say about you last night. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures, about our immortality, and how even if I outlive you, what? Nothing. About how if you outlive me? No other elf would want to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Oh, she's a succubus! <laughs> That's exactly what they said. So that's it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been, without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. Um, human right here. I take offense. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to serve my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. <sighs> you're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reason. 
You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait! <laughs> Dang, Bailey's. Bailey's? Bailey's. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep remembering how to freak to say that word. Bailey's. It's rough, dude. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's alright. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. And I hope that you stop looking at me like that. <laughs> do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. <laughs> That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. Okay, uh, how the freak do I make this stuff? I'm gonna memorize this stuff eventually. Green tea and straight milk. Okay, I got this. Green tea and straight milk. I think. Wait, yes, this is right, right? It's just w one green tea and two milk. Yep, okay, we're good. Oh, can I do some art on this? Best believe I can! Okay, uh, I want to do something a bit more elegant, if I can possibly pull it off. Oh, Dagnabbit, wait, no! Ah, uh, no, I didn't edit it! Dagnabbit, I messed it up! Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. Alright, that'll be 850. <laughs> By the way, are you married? Me? No. <laughs> Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop, but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man said. He's really the one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyways, I need to go now and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. It's still a while until sunrise. <laughs> More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. Do I just have an open bag of, like, coffee sitting over there? Oh my god, wait, Freya, wait, can we go back to the open bag of coffee? <laughs> you were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyways, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Alright then. I think I'm gonna close up shop after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open up as usual. Okay. You have a good night, then. You too, Freya. Oh my gosh. I'm really already in love with this game, but I think I'm probably going to have to end things here. Oh my goodness. Day one at the coffee shop completed in another lovely, lovely video that's going to be up on the channel and another series that I cannot wait to dive into further. Thank you guys so much for stopping by for the very first episode. I'm going to put you guys with a goal. If this video manages to break 30 likes, then I will upload the second part immediately after this one. So it's up to you guys to meet this challenge. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait a whole week before I can upload again. So 30 likes and this video gets a part two immediately. So thank you guys so much for tuning into today's episode. Please be sure to click all of my social media links down below, and I will see you guys next time for Coffee Talk.